What's up, everybody? It's your boy, James Kick. Back again, as you can see. I got another pickup. And bless you, that was my wife in the background. Anyway, um, before I get into this, let me start by asking you guys, uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment below at the end of this review, and let me know what you think. Did you pick these up? And what else you decide to pick up? Because there was a lot of heat that came out this week. And I um, hope y'all pick, picked up and win what you wanted to get. So anyway, um, I hit on DTLR for these. Um, I know a lot of people seen the early reviews you know, for the past week. So I'm just going to give you my thoughts about them. Um, yellow Nike box. We all know what it is. It's the uh, Jordan. And let's look at the size and the tag itself or jordan one high retro og uh taxi black and sale we already know what that means let's open up the box now my box was messed up but i put some clear tape on it i ain't tripping about the box let's peel back the paper and i already laced these i want to look at them before and Set, you know, set it up so it looks a lot presentable. But let me set this over here. Let me put this over here. Spin this around. And it is true. You do not get another second pair of lace. If you did receive a second pair of laces, uh, they're not true. So you got a FUBU. Uh, let's look on the inside of the box itself. That's one side. That's the other side. That's that side plain paper as you see right here stick that back in the box let me see if I can zoom out some more I can't and let's just stick this box oh okay. there go your little security tag or stamp they put on there let me do this 22 I don't know what the hell, what else that's saying but you get that you get the gist so let's uh yeah let's talk about it so, Air Jordan 1 High, taxis. Um, what I think about it, I don't know what the problem is. I don't know if it's because it's the COVID has syndrome or COVID issue has died out or the um, money's not coming in. But a lot of Jordans are sitting on shelves. Maybe Jordan is getting played out. And me being a sneakerhead and like the other sneakerheads, this is a, this is a good thing for uh, for us now because we can just pick up shoes that are, like we, like not like the old times. But, you know, like I said, once before, being selective. And this is one of the shoes I wanted to get because I like the colorway. Um, Material-wise, I'm not complaining. It's very good leather. As you can see here, you can see the tumble leather just from where I'm standing at on the white panels of the shoes. Um, if you look at the toe box, you can see the same tumbled leather right there. You can see it in the, in, a, in the light. Um, toe box around the front. It's nice, smooth leather, black leather, very soft leather. Um, as you can see here, the Nike swoosh is in black. Around the collar is black leather, yellow uh, wings with the Air Jordan Crescent right there. Very nice leather. Once again, tumbled um, on the back. Slightly tumbled, but you know, this is more stretched out because it's got to go around a curve. On the medial side of it, you see the same black Nike swoosh, tumble leather right there, smooth leather and black, all the way up the lace, um, lace uh, eyelets. Your tongue is in black with the yellow Air Jordan, I mean, Nike Air with that nice nylon in black. And like I said, you only get one pair of laces at the black ones. Back of the tongue, you know, you get your Nike's credentials on the back, explaining everything. And on the inside, you have your size tag, and you also have the uh, Nike Air on the inside. Now, the insoles can be removed very easy. They're not glued down. I think that uh, that the uh, material that they always talk about, that, let me take it out of this one, pull the strings out. As you can see, you don't have no issues taking these out. That's all yellow with a lot of lint and dust on it. As you see, Dream Cell, some new type of material that to use right now, which is more softer. Um, because a lot of people, I think the issues with Jordans are you can't stand them too long because they hurt your feet. Well, I hate to tell y'all this newsflash: Jordans are basketball shoes. They're not for casuals, not just for casuals, but you know. 
depending on how your feet is designed or shaped. Well, I shouldn't say designed, but depending on how your feet is shaped, um, yeah, y you probably won't be able to wear these for too much longer. But anyway, uh, let me stop rambling. Um, the collar itself made out of a nice neoprene material or fabric material. Very soft padding. Bottom of the shoes, as you can see, they're yellow with the Nike in the mid middle, all yellow. Midsole is all white. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you get a pair of yellow shoe laces or stick with the black or even get white, you shouldn't go wrong with this. Now, I'm not like uh, Jay, the sneaker guy, but um, I'm sure he, I know he swapped out some laces on these. You probably can get some old sale laces too to make it look nice, you know, like some uh, weathered down or whatever. But I, I like this because... The stance of the shoes by itself and the color colorway matching, I mean, the colorway by itself, the shoe looks nice. I mean, on foot, it looks nice. I've seen a lot of people wear them on reviews and that, that made me decide to get a pair. Um, like I said, I had passed up a few that had dropped and, you know, Jordan 1s, I don't care what anybody say. They don't, they're not played out. They're just right now, a lot of people are just probably just waiting for the, for the ones to come out that's important. Like the, uh, Reimagine or the Lost and Founds, quote unquote. Um, I'm waiting on that too, but you know, hey, if I get them, I get them for don't or don't. So, yeah, it is Saturday and college football day. So, I got a couple games I want to watch. It's the 24th. Um, so, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about was this particular pickup the Air Jordan, aka Taxis, OG High. And, uh, yeah, like I said before, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about them. And for anybody who just subscribed this past week, thank you very much. Welcome to the Distinguished Club. Um, I'm hoping to get to 1,000 probably by the end of the year. If not, I'm still going to do my reviews. Um, bear with me. Sometimes my reviews come up like a few days late, but I try to push them out there as much as, as soon as possible. I do got something that I probably should have reviewed, so you might see that coming up in the next couple few days. Other than that, like I always say, um, stay blessed, be safe out there, and uh, if you know somebody out there, give them a phone call, let them know you love them, that you miss them, you know, we don't know how much time we have left on earth, and uh, like I always end it by saying, aim for something, you're going to miss everything. All right, y'all, peace, be blessed. Have a good weekend.